Hello, welcome to Blast Tires Top 5. Today we're counting down the top 5 hip hop Christmas songs. Yes. Uh, <laughs> my name is Christopher Blaine. And my name is Robert Hodge. Thanks for having me. Of course. Happy to be here. And you have a special, oh. your special guest. Yes, I do. We have my daughter Zara with yeah. us. Say hello. Hello. Hi, All Zara. Right. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, where are we shooting this right now? We are in Six Lagoon uh, Record Shop. It's off of Main Street. Um, it's right behind Double Trouble, right off Main, right off the train station. And it's one of my favorite record stores. I come here to find my dollar records for collages, and so I love it. Uh, what have you been up to lately? What's going on in your world? Uh, I am being a father, a husband, relaxing, making work. I have a cam show coming up. It's um, That's the Center Contemporary Digital. Art Museum Houston. Yes. Um, what else is coming up for you? Um, dropping a record with the Station Museum. Um, it's called Friendly Fire. It's from a show that happened a few years back, and the album is finally coming out. Okay. And um, uh, a record with uh, Art Pay San Antonio called Between the Devil and the Deep. And I'm dropping that one in April. You know, and I have records coming the out. Uninitiated DJ Screw is. Yes. Who DJ Screw is? I'm sorry. It, it's like when it's so part of your fabric, yeah. you forget. Yeah, I mean, it's Houston. So, DJ Screw is Robert Houston, Davis. Uh, yeah. Innovator, DJ. Um, he's one of the guys respond that that we know all around the world for. It's like you know, it's something that put us on the map. And the culture is you know, um, candy car culture, popping trunk, um, a lot of you know, lean smoke. It's a lot of things that come along, but it's a <laughs> lifestyle. But it's about representing your neighborhood and getting out of where you come from, but staying in, giving props. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it makes if you're no screw, please research it. Please check it out. <laughs> okay, so um, we. Anytime you're talking about the top five anything, mm -hmm. there's, you know, yeah. It's there. always a debate. And, um, and it's harder than you think to come up with five <laughs> hip-hop holiday songs because there's a yeah. lot of terrible ones. And there, a lot of bad there's ones. some terrible ones, and they're all, it feels like they're all from the 90s. <laughs> they're all from the 90s. I had a Snoop Dogg one. It was just way too much yeah, to put it on yeah. the list. No, the 80s, I feel like late 80s for me. Yeah. And then a I'm couple of 2000s. things. Yeah, a couple of things yeah. recently. Yeah. So uh, what do you have on your list? So... This might be controversial, but my number five <laughs> hip hop song, Christmas holiday song, is TLC Slay, oh, Slay Ride. Okay. And it's a lot of R&B, a lot of singing, but um, bless her soul, Lisa Left Eye Lopez is rapping, so it's technically a, a hip hop song. It's, and it's technically and it's a, a hip hop one. song. <laughs> Let's see what you got there yeah. for number four. My number four is MF Doom and Cooking Soul. Uh, Doom Xmas. It's real underground, but it's uh, it's an amazing holiday song. If you like MF Doom, yeah, I love MF Doom, and uh, I don't think I've heard that one. Yeah, it's, it's um, so, uh, somewhere on that list. I have uh, Outcast Player Ball. Okay, Player's Ball. I have that one too. That's okay. my number one. Oh, okay, all right. Number we're four. You must got a good list. My list must be trash. If that's no, your number no. four. No, that is uh, number. Yeah, because okay. I mean. You have to really listen to it to understand that it's a Christmas album. Yeah, yeah but like cultural impact. Song. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of these songs have a. It's like an alternative Christmas, or Christmas as seen through the eyes of people not part of the popular. Culture. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's like young yeah. black men partying <laughs> and Christmas, and it's like the holiday song, and and it changed the whole landscape of hip hop for Atlanta and for Outkast. That put them on the map. Absolutely. Uh, oh, should I go to my number three? Yeah, go to your number three. Um, and, but. My number three is Christmas in Harlem. It's Kanye West, uh, Cy, uh, Cy Hotty Prince, and Tiana Taylor. Okay, I've heard that, but I I gotta like uh, veto, man, because <laughs> I feel like Run DMC's Christmas uh, in Hollis, yes, which is kind of that's riffing off it a little bit, uh -huh. is the 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 better version of that song. I agree. That's why it's my number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, and that's your number two, but that's my number one. Okay, but we'll switch it back and we'll we'll make a definitive ranking. But that's I gonna be hard. Like cause that's kind of generational, man. Like that Run really DMC is. record was huge, man. That changed the game too. Yeah, when a song is great, it's gonna right. be played. And the truth is, the Run the Run DMC song don't really get no play anymore. And playing ball is uh, still going strong. I know, but it's not played as a Christmas song. Though. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it's like. Well. You know, when it comes to Chris, when you say Christmas and hip, hip hop in the same, yeah. in the same breath, it has to be uh, Christmas and Hollow. Yeah. Um, another piece in that mix, I have to throw in Tyler the Creator. Okay. Uh, the Grinch. Yeah. I was going. I was. I was. That, was, that, that was my honorable mention because it is pretty good. Yeah. 
Another one I have, uh, and we're gonna rank these, but the Treacherous Three, the uh, Beach Street rap song. Okay. Uh, Beach Street was such an iconic movie for the, for yeah, the for time, sure. and for sure. having that Christmas song in there, like canonized it for me. Yeah. And, uh, Man, how can you fight that? You know, <laughs> I can't, you can't fight things like okay. that. Okay, all right, let's drop it down. Let's drop it down. Okay, so, uh, okay. <laughs> Make sure I'm recording. Yeah, that. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, uh, what do you got for number five? So, number five, let's go with, um, let's go with, let's keep TLC. Okay, Rider yeah, we, I can agree on that. Number Marinade. four. I would probably put the uh, Treacherous Three, number four, for me. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, I mean, like I said, when you, we talked about cultural impact and gay, gatekeepers and people that open yeah. the doors. So that song is very important to the culture yeah. of hip-hop. Holiday song. Too four. bad they didn't have, like, uh, any Christmas songs in Crush Groove or Break In. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I know. as far as hard to make, hip-hop movies hard and Christmas songs. Um, we can put Tyler, the creator, number three. You want to put him in there? It's a good yeah. song. I, I mean, like, I think I, it was so. my honorable it, mention. I would have put it in. I just, I, I feel like you know. that has to be my number three. We can agree to disagree. No, but. no, Kanye West song. I love it, but it's not. I'm not going to fight for it. Okay, it's not that okay. strong to fight for it. Yeah, it's okay. So it's between uh, so Run DMC yeah. and Players Ball. <laughs> Magic flip a coin. I don't know. I mean, man. I, yeah, I, you know, I came prepared. I know, he gave me, I mean, so. we got the Run Dempsey and Chains, so I got the hat, yo. <laughs> I feel like we plan to say Run Dempsey. Give it number two, Outkast. Uh, yeah, it has Plans to ball be. Because a lot of people don't know it's a Christmas song. Yeah. It slid on the LaFace record. I think it came out in 1994, so Run Dempsey definitely is known by me, you. Yeah. She, you know, so let's give it to the classic. She says, yeah. I don't know it. <laughs> You will. I'll play it for you tonight. So number one um, on the top five, top five hip hop holiday songs. Number one is Run DMC, MC. Christmas and Hollis. Yeah. You can fight us on it later, but that's where we stand. Yeah, right make your now. comments. You might have some. <laughs> I, I found a lot. They just you know Snoop Dogg also honorable mention. Yeah. A little raunchy, but it's a good song. Yeah. Shout out to Snoop. Yeah. yeah you got to, you know, it's Christmas, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right, so, Robert Hodge, it's been a yeah, pleasure. Man, thank you, man. And go see some art. Go see some art.